So here's my gappy tank. I took out the Christmas ornament so that I could make room for something else for my puffer to play in. I do like to make a few changes in here. I do believe the puffer is a female by the looks of it. Um, sometimes I don't see her for a day or two and then suddenly she comes out and has a look around. She doesn't seem to care much for eating babies. We have quite a few babies in here now. Um, but then again I am losing a lot of the female guppies. They are fairly old and some of them um, have seen better days. So um, I am waiting still to put up my quarantine tank uh, and then I want to take out the bigger filter at the back, the sponge filter. I've got a new one for there which is a little bit smaller and um, it's still for a, a 10 gallon tank but um, it's a little bit smaller so it gives the fish a little bit more room. I already have a box filter at the back. This tank is always fairly clean and easy to take care of. Um, I clean it out a little bit more now that I have the pea puffer in there. Um, I used to leave it for about two weeks. I don't know if anybody can see this little fish down here. I don't know where she's gone. She is one of my oldest fish and she is so bent cannot believe it she is I saw her in the big tank she was actually born in the big tank and she's uh, survived Victor she survived everything and um, as you can see I've got another old guppy not doing too well there and I have another one at the top not doing too well either I think I'll leave them in here They're just dying of old age, they're not dying of any illness. So, yes, I've started to get babies back in here, not that I really want them. Um, I looked in this morning at the um, white clouds and I have about 30 babies in there that I can see. Um, I can see that they are several different sizes now, but um, I have been told that it can be quite difficult to bring to adulthood so I just have to look and see how well I do. I have some lovely boys in here. Um, these just passed me by when I was getting out all the males so this is why I have babies again and I can't take them out because when I had that illness, I don't know what that illness is. So any fish that are born in this tank just stay here. I don't move them on. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I just think they had aggressive white spot, but um, you know, I don't want to take any chances with my other tanks. I don't know where the pea puffer is. She's usually down the back somewhere. I saw her just now, so I know she's okay. I'm hunting around for some snails for her. Um, usually I've got a ton of snails, but as you can see, this has become a snail graveyard. She doesn't like... Um, the uh, worms, whatever they're called, the little brown wiggly things I put in. She just likes her snails. It's not so much I haven't got them, it's just trying to find them because um, sometimes I clean the tank, I see loads and loads of snails and I can't put loads and loads of snails in here at one time because she will eat them so I have to hunt for a couple of snails per day to put in here for her and she does seem to eat those 
because I don't ever see any live ones in here. So I keep the live ones in other tanks and overfeed them and uh, hopefully I'll get lots more snails. I kind of like this tank. It's uh, got no rhyme or reason. Um, it has fake plants in it and I actually quite like them. Um, it has real plants in it. It has a bit of everything. But, uh, I still like it as a tank. It's just interesting to sit here and watch them. And the fact that I seem to have some very nice male guppies. So hopefully with this next generation I should be able to um, maybe move them. I just think I'm being a little bit overcautious. But when you have established tanks I think it's better to be overcautious.